guys, it's Katie. So today I'm going to be doing another makeup tutorial for you and in this one I want to include oranges and like a yellow gold. So I am so excited to get started. I hope that you are too. So be sure to subscribe to my channel before you leave and check out my social media links below and let's just go ahead and get started. So I'm going to prep my skin. So I'm taking the Astralis Makeup Primer Spritz and this just refreshes my skin and it also leaves like a tacky base which will help everything stick and last longer so just shaking this up and then just gonna apply this and the spray on this is definitely powerful it doesn't like shoot at you it has like a nice mist but it's a powerful one so I definitely would recommend like having a nice distance between the product and your face because otherwise you'll get soaked. <laughs> so I have here the Too Faced Hangover RX Replenishing Face Primer. Now I've never tried this before but I've heard really great things about it. So let me just read off the box and tell you guys what it claims to do. So it says 100% says of people said that it made their makeup go on smoother, their makeup look more radiant, their skin look more hydrated and appear as though they had a full night's rest, which is definitely what I need because I am a night owl who stays up until ridiculous times. So I've definitely not had a full night's rest. So let me just pump this out. So let me take two should be enough and I'll just distribute this around my face. Okay, I'm just gonna rub this in with my hands. Ooh, kind of smells like these like coconut macarons that I've had before. I don't know, that was totally irrelevant, but like that's what it smells like. <laughs> so this has left my skin feeling a little bit tacky, which is nice. It's also left a subtle glow, which I like. So I think we can now move on to foundation. So I'm gonna take the Huda Beauty Faux Filter Foundation in Chai. I have been loving this. I love the coverage, I love the finish. I'm obsessed. So I like to take about one and a half pumps. Um, Huda Beauty said you only need one pump, but I love my full coverage. So I normally take one and a half pumps. So I'm just gonna pump that onto my hand first and then just distribute it around my face. And this does have like a floral scent, which I am not the biggest fan of, but as I blend it out, the scent thankfully goes away. So I'm just gonna go in with my damp beauty blender and bounce this into my skin. And just really buffing that into the hairline, especially if you do fake tan like me, you don't want it to look like you have a mask on or something. So just really buffing that in well. Moving on to concealer, I'm going to take the NARS Soft Matte Creamy Concealer in Chantilly. This is one of my absolute favorites. So I'm just going to go in with my beauty blender and then just apply that under my eyes and on my eyelids. And this is some heavy duty stuff. Like this can cover anything. <laughs> and then once I've blended that in, I'm just going to go in with like the butt of the beauty blender just to blend it into my foundation as the concealer is lighter than the foundation. So we just want everything nice and blended together. And did I say soft matte creamy concealer? Because if I did, I meant soft matte complete concealer. And this one is one of my favorites. <laughs> also just popping that down the center of my face just to add a little bit of dimension to my face. And on, <laughs> and on the chin, probably shouldn't speak while I do that because otherwise I start to sound like this. <laughs> so I need that extra glow. So I'm going to take the Cover FX Custom Enhancer Drops in Celestial. This is my favorite. It's definitely the most blinding liquid highlighter that I own. Like I'm obsessed. So I just like to take this and put a little drop on the back of my hand. I'm just going to do two drops because two sides of my face, obviously. So I'm going to take my Beauty Blender, just dip into that, and then pop that on the tops of my cheekbones. And then I just like to gently bounce it in to the rest of my foundation, and I like to bring it up to above my brow bone as well. Not my brow bone, above my brow. <laughs> and I just like to take a little bit more and just really focus that on the very high points of my cheekbones. 
and then boom there we have it a gorgeous glow to the face and we haven't even applied powder highlight yet this is just the base of the highlighter so I'm obsessed <laughs> and I just like to take whatever is left over on my hand just bring it down the bridge of my nose and also on the keyword bow and a little bit on the chin Okay, let's set the face. So I'm taking the Laura Mercier Loose Translucent Setting Powder on a Morphe Y11 brush. And I'm just going to start by applying this under my eyes and on my eyelids because I really want to make sure that I'm not creasing in those areas. So I'm just lightly just dabbing that on. I'm not going to like swell or anything because we don't want to move those liquids. So I'm just going to be dabbing that on those areas. Then we're going to change to Morphe E2 brush and just pack that powder on the rest of my face to set it. I'm just taking the Hula Bronzer by Benefit and I'm just going to quickly contour my cheekbones. And then let's warm up the skin. So I'm going to take the Physicians Formula Butter Bronzer. I love this stuff and I'm taking that on the Morphe Y8 brush. And I'm just going to be applying this above that contour to really warm up the skin because we're looking a little bit flat right now and I'm also going to take that around the perimeters of my face and I'm using this brush so that I can be really precise when I apply this product I then like to go in with a fibre brush and using that same bronzer I like to apply it just to get like an overall warmth to the face so I'm not applying this precisely whatsoever just going around the perimeters of my face just to, like I said, just get an overall bronzy, sun-kissed warmth to the face. Let's add a little bit of color to the face. So I'm going to take the Sigma Aqua Powder in Cotta Rosa and this is like a gorgeous nude color and I'm taking that on the Morphe Y4 brush. So I'm just going to pick this up and then apply this to the apples on my cheeks and bring it back towards my temples. And I always like to bring my blush up around the perimeters of my face just because I think it blends in with the bronzer really nicely and just adds like a little bit more like color to your face. I don't know. I just really like it. So for highlighter today, I'm going to make a little concoction. So I have here the Jouer Powder Highlighter. And this is one of the most blinding highlighters I've ever laid eyes on. Literally just like one swipe. It's it's crazy but this is in the shade skinny dip and it's a little bit too dark for my skin tone so i like to mix it in with the urban decay afterglow powder highlighter in sin so literally let me see if i can show you guys what i do i just kind of take a little bit of this a little bit of this dust it off and then boom i seriously love this combination like when i'm in the mood for an intense highlighter these are my go-to, like, can we just, can we just take a second? Like, yes. And then whatever I have left over on the brush, I just like to bring down the center of my nose, on my cupid's bow, and a little bit on my chin, just to kind of like even it out so that we don't have like this intense highlighter and then the rest of the face is looking really flat. So just applying that to those areas. And I always like to go back in with my blush brush, just to blend that highlighter in to the rest of of the products just so that we don't have like a line of highlighter because as much as I love an intense highlighter, a line of highlight is not cute. <laughs> okay, I'm going to go ahead and do my brows and then it'll be time for the eyes. So before getting started on the eyes, I just want to quickly set everything we've just done. So I'm going to take the Kat Von D Locket Setting Mist to set everything I've just done. <laughs> Okay, so let's get started. So the first shade I'm going to take is from Super Beauty, and it is called Papa Ya. Now, I don't know how I feel about these Super Beauty shadows, because this one here seems to be the only one that works for me. I've tried like five other shades from their single shadows, as well as their Cupcakes and Monsters palette, and there's just no pigment. And then when I finally do get pigment, if I've like really packed on the shadow using my finger, I'll blend it and it blends to nothing. Like, it literally baffles me. I'm like, what is going on? Have you guys experienced this? If you've tried their shadows or like, have I just got a dud? Like, I'll try and show you. This one here, like, like I said, seems to be the only one that has pigment. Let me get this one here. This is Market. 
let me just try and like show you. I literally did the same thing. Hello, where's the pigment? Let me go into this one here. This is called Palm. So let me use my pinky. Like really, I'm digging in there. Like, yes. And then ready? What? Where are you? But then I've swatched some shades from the Cupcakes and Monsters palette and they swatch beautifully. And then I put it on the eye and I'm like, what is going on? I have no idea. So like I said, if you guys have experienced that, let me know. But this one here seems to work for me. So I'm going to be going in with this one. So I'm just taking this shadow on a Morphe Y16 brush, just tapping off the excess. Then I'm going to be applying it in my crease and blending it up towards my brow bone and this is going to act as a really nice bright transition shade. So we're going to switch to the Nubian 2 by Juvia's Place and I love Juvia's Place shadows. I think they are so pigmented and just beautiful. So we're going to be taking this shade here on a Morphe E27 brush and I'm not going to apply this too precisely. I just want to get a little bit more like depth into the look so I'm just gonna be roughly applying this in my crease and this is like a muted version of the previous shade that we applied and then of course we want to blend that out so I'm gonna go back in with the first brush we used and I didn't pick up any more product this is just the excess product from the first shade we used and I'm just using that to blend those two shades together Let's switch over to the Magic palette. So I'm going to be taking this shade here on a more precise brush. This is the Morphe Y18. And I'm going to use this to start to create some more depth and definition into the look. So I'm going to be, again, applying this into the crease. And again, just going back in with the first brush to blend that out. So I'm going to continue using that same brush and I'm going to be dipping into the Jaclyn Hill slash Morphe palette to grab an even darker orange shade. Oh my gosh, my palette is like so dirty. But I'm going to be taking this shade right here. This is Hunt. And I know this process can get a little bit tedious, but the purpose of starting from a light shade to a dark shade is to create a really nice blend and gradient of color. You know, if I just chose one of those orange shades and went straight in with that, that would be like a block color and my eye would be looking very flat. So I'm starting from light to dark and that's literally the key in every eyeshadow look. Start from light and then gradually work your way to a dark shade which will create a really nice blend and gradient of color. So I've just picked that shadow up and I'm going to be doing the exact same process. And just notice that the darker the eyeshadow, the closer I apply it to my lash line. So that again, we have a really nice gradient of color. You know, we have that lighter color up closer towards the brow bone and then the dark color closer to the lash line. And again, I'm going to blend that shade out. Okay, so let's cut the crease. So I'm going to take a flat synthetic brush and more of that NARS concealer that we used earlier. And I'm going to start to create this half cut crease. And I'm going to cut it above my natural crease as I do have very hooded eyes and I want more lid space to work with. And usually I would get some makeup remover and like remove all of this eyeshadow here. But this is like some heavy duty concealer so I don't really feel the need to do that today. So I'm just going to be concealing over that eyeshadow. And then once I come to the end of where I want that half cut crease, I'm going to use my finger to diffuse the line between the concealer and eyeshadow just so it's easier to create a nice blend a little bit later on. So usually at this point I would go in with some translucent powder to set that concealer but I'm not going to be doing that today because I'm going to be going in with a liquid and just like on your face you don't want to be applying liquid over powder. So I'm going to take the Super Beauty Hydro Liner in Gold Digger. Now this is a chrome shade and it's water activated so I'm just going to take a spray bottle and just spray that and I'm also going to be spraying a flat brush and then I'm going to take that and I'm just picking up the product and then I'm going to be just getting rid of those creases from the concealer and then going in with this shade. 
And I only like to apply one layer of this product because I find that once you start layering it, it um, takes off the product underneath and then becomes like patchy and not cute. So I'm also going to keep my eyes looking down while I let this product dry because obviously I don't want to create any creases. So once I've let this dry, I'm going to go back in to the Magic Palette and I'm going to be taking this shade here on the same brush. This is like a gorgeous yellow gold shade and applying it that chrome underneath is really going to like enhance and intensify this shadow. So I'm just going to start applying this. Look at how pretty this is. Like, yes. So I'm going to stop applying that yellow gold shade about here. And then I'm going to switch palettes back to the Nubian 2 palette. And I'm going to be taking this shade here, which is like a orange gold shade. And I'm going to pick that up on the brush and then I'm going to apply it to that outer edge of the half cup crease. And this will create like a nice gradient of color so that we're going from like a yellow gold to orange gold and then into that orange eyeshadow. So I've just picked up more of Hunts from that Jaclyn Hill palette on the Sigma winged liner brush and I'm going to start to really define this half cut crease. So I'm applying this shadow where that chrome shadow ends. Taking more of Hunts, I'm going to use that to blend the matte shadow into the chrome on the outer corner of my eye. And I'm just actually taking my finger with more of that Super Beauty shade and I'm using that to blend the metallic into the matte because it wasn't looking as seamless as I wanted so we're just going back in with the first shade to help that. So what I'm going to do now is go in with the NYX Glam Liner. This is in Glam 24 Carat and I'm going to be applying this where that yellow gold shade meets the um, orange eyeshadow and this matches the yellow gold shade perfectly so it's really gonna like carve out this half cup crease and make it like really nice and sharp and clean okay so before doing my other eye I just want to quickly do my lower lash line and again we want a nice gradient of color but there's not enough room to use all four shades so I'm gonna kind of pick and choose so I'm gonna go in with the first shade we used and I'm gonna pick that up with a Morphe Y20 brush and I'm also just going to pop that in my waterline as I don't want to apply black because I don't want to close out my eye but I don't have an orange eyeliner so I'm just dabbing that in my waterline as well as on my lash line. Then I'm going to pick up the last shade we used, which was the darker shade, so Hunts from Jaclyn Hill palette. This is just a tiny little precise Morphe brush, and I'm going to really tuck that as close to my waterline as possible, and this will create a really nice smoky gradient to the look. I just quickly curled my lashes and tight lined my eyes, so now I'm just going to go in with some mascara. This is the Too Faced Better Than Sex mascara, my fave, and while I'm here, just highlighting my inner corner and my brow bone with that same highlighter we used earlier. So you could totally leave this look the way it is, but I am going to be applying some lashes today because I did get sent some Tati lashes and I really want to try this style here in TL23. They look right up my alley, not too dramatic where it's like whoa in your face, you can't even see all that hard work that you just put in to the eyeshadow but still like gives you that oomph factor, you know? So I'm gonna be applying these with some Duo Lash Glue. So I'm just bending the lash band to make it not so stiff and more flexible so that it's easier to apply onto the eye. So I'm just applying this as close to my natural lashes as possible. I just place down the middle first. Okay, cute, I like these. So I'm just going to use my tweezers to kind of press my natural lashes into the falsies to kind of blend them together. Okay, so for lips, I'm going to make my own little concoction. So here I have Jeffree Star Below Liquid Lipstick in Flamethrower and Hunty. And I want my lips to be orange, but not like this bright. So I'm going to use this to kind of make it a bright pastel orange. I'm excited to see what it's going to look like. Thank you. 
And this is the finished look. I really hope that you like it. Before you leave, be sure to click that little notification bell so you're notified every time I post a video. And yeah, thank you so much for watching and hopefully I'll see you in my next one. Bye guys.